A giant wall stands between your eyes and the world. It may be hard right now, but you must silence those thoughts. Stop counting only those things that you have lost. What is gone is gone. So ask yourself this, what is there that still remains to you? Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be exploring a long overdue character and the most recent member of the Straw Hat Pirates, Jinbei. Jinbei, known by his epithet as Knight of the Sea, is a whale shark fisherman and an extraordinarily prominent figure in the One Piece world, having served as part of many different factions. He is an individual of great pride, honor, and humility, as well as possessing a keen mind for diplomacy and holds a goal of one day achieving coexistence and equality between fishermen and humans as per the wishes of his former captain Fisher Tiger, as well as the former queen of the Ryugu Kingdom, Otohime. As a young lad, Jinbei grew up in a giant orphanage on Fishman Island, which eventually turned into the Fishman District. A lawless area known for being particularly rough. There he studied and mastered the art of Fishman Karate, achieving a black belt while still in his childhood. In his early adulthood, Jinbei signed up to the Neptune army and would remain with the organized force until his sworn brother Fisher Tiger returned to Fishman Island after having attacked the holy land of Marijua. From here, Jinbei decided to resign from the Neptune army and take up a position as part of Fisher Tiger's newly formed pirate crew known as the Sun Pirates. The goal of this crew was to free those oppressed by the world government, a group that Fishman traditionally fell into, as they were often captured and sold as slaves to the world nobles. Despite that, Jinbei lived by his captain's decree that they were not to kill humans, as it would only turn them into cold-blooded murderers. Furthermore, despite Tiger's own personal hatred towards humanity, he often preached that revenge would only lead to more conflict and hatred. This had a profound effect on Jinbei's personality at the time, as he was previously shown to be excessively brutal towards his enemies, but over time he developed a great sense of pride and honor. And following Fisher Tiger's tragic death, Jinbei, who had become the second captain of the Sun Pirates, continued to abide by by his former captain's philosophy, although there was no shortage of conflict, much of which contributed to Jinbei's assigned bounty of 250 million berries. During this time, Jinbei also received an offer from the world government to join the seven warlords of the sea, which he accepted with the goal in mind of using his position to improve relations between fishermen and humans. As part of this agreement, he bartered to have Arlong, one of his former crewmates, freed from prison, and after a falling out, Arlong set sail to East Blue, and allowing him to do so would be a decision that Jinbei would come to greatly regret as it led to the tyranny of Koko Yashi village. Sometime after this, Queen Otohime was assassinated as she was gathering signatures to present at the next reverie, which would state the intention of the fishman race to relocate to the surface world. Otohime was an activist for the coexistence between humans and fishmen, and went about achieving her ideals in the polar opposite methodology of Fisher Tiger. Despite this, Jinbei had great respect for her, and when it was claimed by Hody Jones that a human was the culprit of her assassination, it was Jinbei who urged him to keep that quiet for the sake of preserving Otohime's ideals. Although he didn't, because Hody Jones is a dick. Sadly, from here to modern times, we have quite a gap in the exploits of Jinbei, Knight of the Sea. However, we do know of at least one event wherein Jinbei came into conflict with Port Gasty Ace, as he attempted to challenge the pirate Whitebeard. Jinbei became involved because Whitebeard was the power who protected Fishman Island, and was even seen, in the eyes of Jinbei, as a hero. The resulting battle between Jinbei and Ace lasted for five days non-stop, until both combatants collapsed from sheer exhaustion. And following Ace's decision to join the Whitebeard pirates, the two of them began a significantly more amicable relationship. Relationship. So much so that just prior to the Paramount War, they even became cellmates in level six of the underwater prison Impel Down. Jinbei came to be imprisoned here after he refused the world government's call to assemble to fight the Whitebeard Pirates. And here he would end up meeting a certain Monkey D. Luffy, who had broken into the prison in order to save his brother Ace. Unfortunately, by the time Luffy came along, Ace had already been removed and was being transported to his execution site at Marineford. Jinbei was then released from his cell and he joined Luffy's jailbreak squad, consisting of many other prominent figures such as former war Lord of the Sea, Sir Crocodile, and Emporio Evenkov of the Revolutionary Army. And it would be during this effort that we would first be introduced to Jinbei's overwhelming mastery of Fishman Karate. Jinbei's skill is such that he has no real need to make physical contact with most enemies, producing powerful strikes utilizing water particles in the air in order to blow them away. However, his raw physical strength is also not to be underestimated, as he was seen to be capable of defeating a Jailer Beast of Impel Down with a single uppercut. Furthermore, Jinbei is one of the most durable combatants we have ever seen in the series. In fact, Jinbei's tolerance to pain is such that he is one of the very few people to have endured the baptism of boiling water in Impel Down without so much as a flinching. Jinbei also has the wonderful ability to communicate with fish, which is very notable actually, because this power is generally exhibited in merfolk rather than fishmen. And finally, Jinbei's skill as a helmsman should also be flagged at this point. In fact, his experience with sailing is such that he was easily able to steer a stolen marine battleship from Impel Down to Marineford. And from here, Jinbei became a participant of the Paramount War, fighting on the side of Whitebeard with a focus on 
assisting Luffy in the task of saving Ace. During this effort, Jinbei came into conflict with many other well-known figures in the One Piece world, including Gekko Moria, who was defeated in a single punch, as well as then Marine Admiral Akainu, who Jinbei certainly did not defeat and actually ended up suffering great wounds from while saving Luffy. However, he would end up escaping the battlefield and was even healed by the captain of the Heart Pirates, Trafalgar Law. However, sadly, the events of Marineford had resulted in the death of Ace, and it fell to Jinbei to almost literally beat into Luffy that he had to endure and move past his pain because he had not yet lost everything. Jinbei then accompanied Luffy along with Silver's Rayleigh to the ruins of Marineford in order to help send the message of 3D2Y to the rest of the Straw Hat Pirates who were scattered around the world. Following this, Jinbei parted ways with Luffy and promised to wait for him on Fishman Island. And that was a promise that Jinbei would be somewhat unable to keep. Unfortunately, due to Jinbei's status as a Warlord of the Sea being revoked, he and the rest of the Sun Pirates were unable to stay on the island due to their technical classification as criminals. And so he left a message for Luffy asking to meet in the Seafloor Forest, which Luffy never received, but he ended up there anyway. So it all worked out in the end, or did it? As after telling the Straw Hats the history of Fishman Island, he and Luffy got into a heated fight regarding how to handle Hody Jones, but eventually the two came to an agreement and Jinbei along with the Straw Hats then faced off against the new Fishman Pirates in the Gyeongkord Plaza. And while this was a primarily crushing victory for the Straw Hats, Luffy did suffer some grievous injuries, requiring a blood transfusion to which Jinbei offered to donate his own blood to achieve. And this action really cannot be understated because donating blood between species was a huge taboo on Fishman Island, which rather ironically began because humans had originally put the rule in place in order to prevent mixing bloodlines. So Jinbei's action here actually served as a groundbreaking event between Fishman and humanity, and as Luffy began to recover, he asked Jinbei to join his crew. And Jinbei's response to this wasn't exactly a yes, but it certainly wasn't a no. He claimed that he had unfinished business to take care of, and stated that once it was complete, he would seek out Luffy, and should he still feel the same way, then he would like to be asked once more. And so the two parties went their separate ways, with the Straw Hats embarking into the new world, whilst Jinbei went on his own adventure, which is detailed in the solo journey of Jinbei, Night of the Sea cover story. This short-term serial features Jinbei helping a lost sea kitten, as well as a sea police dog, whose homes have completely disappeared. And long story short, the culprit turned out to be Waratsumi, a former member of the Flying Pirates led by Vanderdecken, and after making him apologize to the townsfolk, Jinbei, Waratsumi, and a poneglyph they discovered, made their way to Totland in order to reunite with the rest of the Sun Pirates. Now Totland is the territory of Charlotte Lin Lin, also known as Big Mom, one of the four emperors, and the individual who took over the quote unquote protection of Fishman Island after the death of Whitebeard. As part of this deal, the Sun Pirates had also become affiliated with the Big Mom Pirates through the marriage of Aladdin to Charlotte Praline. However, this wasn't a great deal to say the least, as Big Mom was much more tyrannical in her protective duties. As a result, Jinbei had come to Totland in order to unaffiliate himself with her crew so that he could properly join the Straw Hat Pirates. At around the same time, Luffy and half of the Straw Hats arrived in the area to take back Sanji, and Jinbei became involved in a plot to kill Big Mom at Sanji's wedding. This plot did not go well, not well at all. However, Jinbei did manage to achieve his goal of leaving the Big Mom Pirates and publicly stated his intention to join the Straw Hats, which overjoyed Luffy, and then they proceeded to run for their lives to escape Totland. Regrettably, during this escape effort, Jinbei found that he could not leave the Sun Pirates to sacrifice themselves for his sake, and decided to stay behind in order to help them while they secured the safety of the Thousand Sunny. Luffy consented to this course of action, but he did rather sternly remind Jinbei that as a member of the Straw Hat Pirates, he must survive and meet up with the rest of the crew in Wano. However, at the time of this recording, Jinbei's fate following the escape of the Straw Hats from Totland is unknown. Some more fun facts about Jinbei. Jinbei's name comes from the Japanese word Jinbei Zame, meaning whale shark. So Jinbei is rather literally named after exactly what kind of aquatic life he represents. Jinbei currently holds the title for longest time spent since his mention to his introduction in the story, having been name dropped in chapter 69, but not actually appearing until chapter 528. For those of you counting, that's 458 chapters or just over a decade in publication time. Jinbei happens to be by far the most popular fisherman in the entire series, having secured the sixth place position in the most recent One Piece character popularity poll. According to the One Piece Visual Dictionary Vivia card, Jinbei's current bounty is 438 million berries, whereas previously in the series it was only known to have been over 400 million. And finally, a truly useless fact, Amongst the One Piece fanbase, Jinbei's name seems to be by far the hardest to spell, and there is no better evidence of this than the comments from this very channel. Jinbei, Jinbai, Gimbi, Ginbei, Jinbi, Jinbeing, Jenbi, Fishman Guy. But that pretty much does it for Jinbei. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way inclined to help support this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.